Welcome to Philippine Expat Garden and Farm. Pana kung sa mupa? Tuwa na ang lubi dito? Ah, yung pamuta ang mga yuta? We will plant today a coconut. They start a hollowing the dirt here pa only. Philip here. Oh wow. This is Chinese mango here. I did a doy. Nagchinilas doy. Oh, there is a day. Uh, eh. Well, these two really need to be replanted. But uh, as you can see, I'm digging the weeds up around the base of some of our trees this is a mango tree our coconut trees and what happens is that you get all these little weeds here growing up around here and you actually want to take they're like real they're like fingerling weeds you want the the tree to get the deep roots to it so what i'll do is i'll dig it up once in a while and take these out and hopefully there'll be a lot more going to the deeper root for the tree in that so yeah you can dump that on here and this is from our compost pile. Uh, yeah, I dumped the whole thing in there. Yeah. Hmm? Huh? So, that will help the growth here. You can see some of the, the trees didn't make it. This one died here too. Oh well. So we'll dig up this hole and plant a new coconut tree. Huh, maybe we'll leave it open. That's almost too close in order to plant. Yeah, just leave that one open. But here you can see how all the weeds grow close to the surface there. And you want to get a deeper root. So you kind of kill that top off a little bit, feed it a little bit more. Yeah. So. We should trim some of that one on. Yeah, because yeah, we got to, to let the, well, that one and this one here, we got two mango trees here and that. But, uh, so I go through here. Uh, 
basically to get the weeds out. And like I said before, and I mentioned a number of times, the stuff I'm pulling out, like right here, isn't really grass, it's weeds. <laughs> It, uh, after you cut it for a while, it kind of looks like grass, acts like grass and that, but, uh, in reality, they're basically all just weeds here. So, and I don't do this very often, I should probably do it at least twice a year and of course the best time now you don't want to do it during the dry season the best time is during the, the rainy months now to plant trees and uh, yeah we got some looks like some good roots there we'll leave those and that and that's what we did we bought the land here in October six years ago and uh, we planted like I said 120 130 trees right at the beginning of the rainy season and it just it basically saved our whole place here because they rooted out real good by the time the dry season came and that they had good enough roots to survive the dry season and that so uh, if this is a good time to plant. It's kind of late now in January, but uh, we should hopefully still get some more rain. And that, I'm going to brought some more down here. Oh, yeah. Huh? And hopefully the chickens won't get at this. <laughs> The chickens love going through, picking at this and eating and everything else and spreading it all over the place. So hopefully they won't do that. But uh, I'll go down here below. But uh, you can kind of see what I'm doing. And then we'll say goodbye for now. We're going to be planting uh, coconut trees. Doro's been digging holes down here. And I'll show you the method that I use to plant coconut trees to kind of give them a little boost to grow in that so I'll say goodbye for now and get back to work the boss has got me working hard today so <laughs> yeah, right. we'll say goodbye thank you so much for watching this video please share and subscribe